Alrighty, let's test this sucker out. Let's go. Boop. Oh. Boop. 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 Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Hey buddies, some nuts guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. And today's video is all about the best bow in the game and the best bow enchantments that you can possibly get. So we did a similar video for melee weapons and you guys were asking for something similar but for bows. So well, we decided to put that together for you. The best bow in the game, in my opinion, is going to be the Iced Dragonbone Strengthened Longbow. The Flame Dragonbone Strengthened Longbow <laughs> is also a very good bow, but there's a specific reason as to why I think the Iced version is going to be a bit better, and I'll explain that in just a moment when we have a look at the enchantments. The Dragonbone Strength and Longbow does have a longer draw time than a lot of the other ranged weapons. However, when you up your skills in archery, and once we put the enchantments on there, it's going to fire incredibly fast anyway. But as an example, archery here, once you upgraded this archery skill, it will draw the bowstring back faster anyway. So that extra long drawback for the Dragonbone Strength and Longbow variant of the bows is honestly it's not that much of a negative because it still shoots incredibly fast. In fact, if you could shoot it any faster with this thing, you'd probably end up having zero FPS very, very quickly because I can get to the point where I'm shooting enough arrows that my FPS starts to drop very quick. Anyway, <laughs> let's tell you, show you how to make this thing. It's pretty awesome. So we've got multi-shot three. Multi-shot three is gonna shoot multiple arrows at once. And split shot four is gonna shoot more and more arrows at once. Now this does increase the durability consumption of the of the weapon quite a bit and the arrows. However, uh, when you have infinity and mending, which you're also going to have, then that's not going to be too much of an issue. So we're shooting eight arrows at once. Between multi-shot and split shot, we're shooting eight arrows at one time. Eight arrows we got one two three four five six seven eight we're shooting eight arrows at once and they're all doing pretty hefty damage you know in the in the mid to high 20s at least that's uh that's a lot of damage output no that's a lot of damage you've also got rapid fire which is going to increase the speed that you can draw on the bow again further increasing that supreme flame which surprisingly does work with the iced variant of this bow it lights them on fire, it deals the full damage. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually surprising because it doesn't work on swords. You have range, which is gonna make you shoot further and your arrows fly faster, which is very nice for shooting, say, dragons, which are quite far away, as an example. Rune of Arrow Piercing 4. This is going to mean that your arrows are gonna pierce through their armor and deal more damage. Pushing in is an interesting enchantment. And to show you this properly, we're gonna spawn a couple of zombies here for you. So pushing, will push zombies back or will push enemies back while you're drawing the bow. So while I'm drawing this, it should push them back. You see like that. And it will only work while you're drawing it. If it's at full capacity, you know, you'll see they'll be able to keep going. However, if you're drawing your bow, it's going to be pushing them back, which is pretty cool. Pretty handy. Keep them at range and just shotgun them down with the bow. The next enchantment you're going to want to get oh, my high jump hitting my head on the ceiling is going to be Advanced Power 5. It just increases the base damage of the weapon quite substantially, I might add. Oh, hey, buddies. Oh, hey, buddies. Never mind. Goodbye. And uh, you've got Infinity, of course, Unbreaking 3, and Advanced Mending. Between these three enchantments, you're going to never have to reload on arrows, and you're never going to have to worry about your durability. Now, when you get to this point, you're already... Where do you guys keep coming from, man? You're already going to be quite far along and how many levels it's going to take to add the new enchantment. So I would up use upgraded potentials. Uh, excuse me, guys. Excuse me. I would use upgraded potentials somewhere along the way. Maybe after you've done the pushing two as an example, then get the last few enchantments on there after you've done upgraded potentials. And if you have enough levels remaining, if you have it's just it's just chaos in here, it's chaos. If you have enough arrows uh, and uh, levels remaining, you could also add punch 
Uh, out of out of uh, to be honest, that's more of opinion, more of personal preference. I'm not a huge fan of punch, and honestly, this thing's going to be killing people so fast that I feel like punch is a little bit irrelevant for you. Hiya, hiya. And uh, also combat veterancy, which is a little bit irrelevant. And with how many levels it's going to start costing when you get through all of these, I think you don't need it. But combat veterancy for those of you that would be interested or have the levels that you can get this on there, this is going to increase the healing that you gain in battle. Um, it is not that useful on a bow, but you know if you got the levels, then why not? It'll make this thing even stronger. So yeah, this is going to be great for clearing crowds or dungeon clearing because of its multi-shot. But it's also going to be great for taking out big old bosses because if you hit the boss with all eight or a number of these shots, then it's going to be doing multiplies of damage, multiples of damage. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's really, really good. It's insane. You walk around and you just go like this and everything, everything in front of you just dies. I mean, I can get to the point where I'm losing FPS very quickly. Let's see. Let's see, all right, now we're dropping down 50, 53 even. And we're gonna, we can very quickly get to, uh, very quickly <laughs> get to a point. I mean, look at, look at this, this is, this is insane, this is crazy. And we're at 12 frames per second. The bow is so powerful that it breaks the game. We have a game-breaking bow right here, guys. And just to give you a quick summary on that, that's gonna be multi-shot three, split shot four, rapid fire two, supreme flame, range, rune, arrow piercing four, pushing two, advanced power five, infinity, unbreaking three, and advanced mending. If you want to and you have the levels, punch two and combat veterancy three. And uh, and yeah, that's about it. Guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, then consider subscribing. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Hope you all have a beautiful rest of, the day, rest of your day.